Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. Access to the tower to be able to punish GP by taking plates, by pressuring him there. And that got locked. So that, so um, we will see. Lou been too long on that one. And now he's topside. Oh, oh man. Died. If Finn dies as this wave crashes, I that is dead. just a tragedy. He's not level three, so he has no yeah. W. Level two here on the gangplank. No mana left to work with first, but they made it look so easy, man. Dumb. Trying one. to get straight to Triforce, avoid the PvP, go for the PV, farm it up. But the fact that Ghost and Barrel are having the push, and Barrel just roams away from Ghost and just sits here in the jungle, plus the fact that Showmaker is constantly pushing, does make for a pretty good engaged target uh, with that Taric plus the Hecarim flying on in there. It's a very easy uh, dazzle stun coming off the Hecarim. You throw the Bastion in, you fear them straight into that stun from the Taric, and it can be a really, really nasty engage on low mobility champions like Ghost. Domwon's going in to the mid enemy mid laner here. Larson's in some trouble. Tries to flash away, evading the damage. Collateral damage comes through, but an amazing turnaround's able to find the kill on the barrel here, and now it's gonna be a two for one. Showmaker tries to get himself out, but Han Sama's got the spear. Nice, son. They put up that shield to block all the damage. He was not able to pull that off, and as a result, really got punished. Burst down very quickly, but top turret, that is gone. And despite the fact that they get those kills, this is going to be an over 3,000 gold lead, very likely, when it's all said and done here. Uh, as Dom Juan have a huge top advantage. Uh, the way this team is able to just build leads for themselves. We already mentioned the jungle farm advantage. Now, the marker for Hecarim to complete a Trinity Force with nothing but Hunter's Talisman in the inventory is 14 minutes. That's generally where you would want to try to have that completed by. Yeah. However, he did stop off for the completed Smite first, as Showmaker's trying to trade here with Larson in the mid lane, but Barrel's showing up. This time he gets the shield down. He blocks all the damage Girl's coming out. Die. He missed the spear! Oh, he missed the spear, and Larson comes out on top. He plays the test this, which it looks like they won't. It would have to be a four and a half versus five with only GP ulti, so that one just goes over to Dom Juan. That is two yeah, to nothing dead. on the Drake count. And here they come for the mid lane. It's Shelly summoned up for the second time for Dom Juan Gaming. They've got the mid lane turret down below half already. One headbutt will take care of this one. Here we go. And bonk. Turret taken care of. Mm -hmm. And despite the fact that Rogue have, have done well. A musical rift here, Isaac. Everybody's just walking around the center, trading spots, seeing when the music is going to stop. Showmaker walking towards that tri brush as TP shows up from Larson arriving back into the fight. Drake is down to half HP. Over the wall goes Showmaker. Go. Could find his engage right now. Drake's at 2,500. There's spears in it. Hansama might be able to go in. There comes Cosmic Radiance. The dragon is secured by Rogue. They got the objective. Can they get out? There's the Callista ulti over the wall. Comes Showmaker, but he won't find Soul point from Dom Juan. And also, credit to knowing their limits. No one got antsy on Rogue. No one just tried. TP is showing up. Dom Juan ready to make uh -oh. the attack. The teleport will be jumped on, and Finn tries to get away. Now Inspired has to defensively ult to retreat. Back to the Baron. So Rogue has stopped the Baron attempt for now, but they do it at the cost of their top laners. We'll continue building leads in this game. The respect that Rogue shows them means that Dom Juan are able to keep playing League of Legends how they want to, and the way they want to is not. And it looks like there's no contest from Rogue this time around. Because they bought the time last time around, they're saying, all right, this is the one that we have to sacrifice. It's still not Soul. Yes, it's going to put them in a bad spot going forward, having to fight for everyone thereafter, but they're just not in a good spot here. The arrow doesn't find the engage onto Han Sama, but he's putting a lot of damage down onto Barrel, nearly able to kill him off, and there he is, Gallop Gallop! The horse has arrived. Rogue once again outplay the Dom Juan engage. To just burst him down. You know, the only healing debuff right now is from Ghost, and he may not have access to that backline, if Showmaker dives in there and can't immediately kill him off, you know, if Vander lands that Taric ultimate, all of a sudden the Bloodthirster and plus the Blade of the Rune King, you're healing back up to full and you're turning around that fight, stacking up spears during your Taric ultimate. So Dom Juan really want to try to get a fight right now. Oh, Larson is caught out. The damage comes through and he's going to be killed before Cosmic Radiance. This could finally be what Dom Juan Gaming is looking for. Showmaker gets himself ultimate out. If it was Hansami, he could cleanse it, but nothing there for him. And Rogue trying to get an angle. Inspired looks like he wants to try to go for this steal. We'll see if he can find Inspire it. Inspire going in for the 50 50. Is he going to be able to do it? Look at him, baby. Take down the Baron. No, he will not. Nagari gets the kill. If GP gets hit, you orange it. He's really the most susceptible person to that and stepped a little bit too far forward looking for that poke. And it costs them Baron. Time. 
on the mid lane tier three. That one's gonna lose about three quarters of its health. Now Ghost is able to step up in the bottom lane. And this is where things get really dicey for Rogue. This is where split seconds can break the game because you've gotta be picking and choosing when you go in. That ultimate was not it. There's a whole bunch of things that could have been it, but that is not it. Over the wall goes Vander looking to keep himself alive. Inspire gonna be tanking up in the middle of all five. Showmaker grabbing the kill on to Vander, two down. We have been complimenting Rogue's synergy. Rogue's team play, Rogue's ability to avoid that axe hanging over their head this entire game. But when they tried to go in in the bottom lane, everything was out of sync. The Cosmic Radiance way too early, the Gangplank ulti didn't end up setting up for anything, and now Dom Juan is looking for that death blow. Showmaker tries to go in, he tosses his ally in there, Canyon with the damage. The remaining three players of Rogue trying to heal up, trying to maybe mount some sort of a defense here. The minion wave is still at the Nexus turrets and those are gone. The damage pours onto the Rogue health bars. Larson is eliminated and the volleys continue flying. Canyon tanks the turret even for a split second there in the Nexus and that is it, Dom Juan victory. Move to 2-0 in the...